everyone, it's Rhonda here from Nelson Soapery. Today I thought let's do a bit of a tour on my house so you can see exactly where I live and um, how it's come that I'm a soap maker. So lots of you ask all these interesting questions. So just to answer a few, I'm actually a mum of seven. Yes, I have five daughters and two sons and then soaping is my second love. So that's why I love sharing everything and showing you guys what I do. So I thought today I'll show you where it all started in my little kitchen in my house and we'll do a bit of a tour and hopefully um, you guys can get a little bit of an insight about me and all about me and why I make soap the way I do because I really do believe that your characteristics your personality do shine through your business and the way that you want it to look and the way you sort of promote yourself as well anyway let's go everyone and hopefully you love it Let's go through the door and we will go and see my house and I'll show you all around. So let's open up and this is my hallway that we're walking into and my house is almost 100 years old. It is a beautiful period style home that we've been renovating and this is the lounge room where I say all the magic happens and I watch all the YouTubers that I love. I hardly ever watch TV actually. I just mostly watch a few Netflix and I watch lots and lots of YouTube and I'm always researching my craft of soap making and everything that comes with soap and candle making. My husband's desk in the corner, which I do not love, it makes my lounge look ugly, but um, he has to work from home because of COVID. Um, everyone in Melbourne has been sent working from home uh, for almost a year now. And in here, you'll see that I love Hollywood and anything that represents Hollywood or the 40s. And that really does show that that's a bit of my style as well, because I do love that minimalistic look, a lot of um, just black text as well. So your personality really will shine through on the way you're um, going to show your business or the way you promote it, or even just the way that you label it. So it's really important. Here is my little photo wall because I'm a mum of seven and I'm also a grandmother of two beautiful little babies and this is the kitchen where everything started so it's my old kitchen that we have not renovated this yet it's definitely not on the list and you can see how tiny my little stove is so don't worry even if you have a really small house or an apartment a little cabin anything that you're working from you just need a small bench and a small stove to be able to work off and then you can definitely um do a business in soap making, candle making or a similar craft because you just need a small area. Now um, I don't work from this kitchen at all. I make everything in a private studio that's also set on um, my property as well. I did have a warehouse in the past um, but unfortunately with COVID we had to give that up because we were constantly locked out of there which was very very annoying. Um, our government actually did a thing where we had to be locked out and it was the right thing to do to try and eliminate the cases that we were having in Melbourne Australia but now um, it was just too hard to get to it so I think I've made the right move and my goal from now is to move into a retail shop uh, eventually that won't happen straight away but it definitely will and just to show you I do use my own products um, this is one of my new diffusers that I'm trying out in it's called blooming rose and um, some little candles I often make for myself and I haven't even lit that one yet so I definitely um, will do that but I thought it might be important for you guys just to see that I don't live in a big mansion on the hill and I think that's what I even thought of when I started watching soap makers you just think that everybody has this grand home but they don't and um, anyway, I'll show you this bit here about the ceiling. This is the original ceiling of my home. And I really love it. That was definitely a draw card for me when we looked at buying this little old home and um, renovating it and fixing it up. Even all the cushions on the couch. I can't give you links because I actually make them all myself. Now here are my little babies that love coming into the studio out the back and my husband made me this little path and the dogs chase me up the end of the path to try and come in. They're only allowed to come in when I'm not making things of course. And now we are obviously inside the studio and this is where the true magic happens and I create my crazy, crazy creations as my husband says. 
and I thought I would give you a little look on all the new things that I've been up to. This is the wall where I keep everything and then when it sells, I remove it and package it up and it goes out to my customers. So I've been working really hard on these new diffusers. So I've decided to bring them in probably about five cents at this stage and that may be enough. Maybe at Christmas I'll bring in like a candy cane or something as well, which is a beautiful peppermint one. And of course the whip soaps, which you guys would have seen the last video I did, which was um, sugar scrubs and then of course the whips as well. And so I thought I'd show you and you can see my new labeling on this. And that's something I wanted to talk about too. Don't feel scared to change your labeling or the way you promote yourself or anything. Um, it's, you know, if you think it's not working, just change it. You know, little changes like that are not really expensive. They're a bit time consuming, but not really expensive. And it might actually work better and it might actually help you to get more clients in the end or even wholesale if that's what you want for your business. Um, I personally don't do wholesale at all. It's just something I've decided not to do because um, obviously wholesale, you need to discount your products quite a lot and I just didn't want to do that. Um, I've just also showed you that. It's called Day Spa. That's my new Shea Body Butter and I will be bringing a video out of that uh, late next week, I think. And the same as the diffusers, I'll also be bringing out a video on those and how I make them. And of course, this one here is the candles that I've just bought out my really long hour video. And I am sorry it took so long, but I didn't want to leave anything out. And I did want to explain everything to you guys so you could see um, what I'm doing. And you will see here that I do have lots of colors and pretty things um, in a lot of my cupcakes. These are one things that one time that I can actually let my mind just go and create something crazy and fun because I get lots and lots of children and older ladies that buy um, these little tiny ones as well. So, and everything is handmade. So, of course, I tell my customers, you know, there may be some imperfections in some things, but that's all a part of candle, soap making, bath bomb making, you know, wax melts and all the things that we're doing, isn't it? And um, these are my little wax melts. I do sell them in candy bars. I think I'm probably going to just stick to candy bars in the future and not do anything else in my melts but those. And I thought I'd give you a close up look of some of my soaps. Like they have so much detail. I hand mold a lot of these little tiny bits and pieces inside them. Um, and you'll be able to see like the one I just showed you was like my fairy adventure and they had like little garden gates and um, little flowers and acorns in the garden and um, so on. And then in my buckets here, this is where I actually keep lots and lots of um, products. I'm going to be buying a whole heap more. I think I probably have maybe 40 buckets at the moment. Um, I thought I actually had less, but I think I've got about 40 and um, there's just everything in there. So I need to buy some more shelving and some more um, buckets and then that will allow me to put things in it um, and, you know, just neaten everything up because that's the hardest thing when you're working in a small space. You have to be really organized so that you know when an order comes in, you just pack it up and get it out. And I try and get my orders all out within 24 hours. I really do try, um, if it's a weekday, I'll try the next day and get it out obviously if someone orders on a weekend our post office doesn't open so I can't actually do anything until the next business day which would be the Monday and then I would definitely get it out on that day so that's something that I really do try and um, organize and get them out like I said super early but anyway I hope you have loved this quick little tour around and um, say stay strong everyone and make sure that you know you can do this bye for now Thank you everyone for watching my video I thought I would just bring a little bit at the end just to talk about a couple things that you could do if you want to um, actually help your business move in the right direction so number one have a look at your products and just make sure they're doing the right thing um, you know in regards to the market and making sure that you're looking at your target market it's really important to find your target market and then try and make your product suit that market and an example of that is there's no good doing something hot pink if you're trying to promote your things to people that are interested in green um, products and natural 
neutral products and um, no colors and so on. So I'm sure that makes sense um, what you're saying. And also, you know, if you haven't started and you're a bit nervous to start, just start. I mean, that's the only way that I can um, tell you just to, um, you know, how you actually start and get going. Just start going and don't worry too much what anybody else says. It's really important just to, you know, get started, make your first bar of soap or your first body butter. You know, if it's no good, don't worry. I've made plenty that I've thrown out at the start because you just learn as you go along. Um, and, you know, if money is the problem too, just buy a small amount just to get you started because you just never know. Um, you can even make your own flyers, your own business cards at the start. I definitely did that at the start. Um, so don't feel like you have to spend tens of thousands of dollars at the start because most people do not have that when they start. But anyway, I hope this video has really given you a little bit of inspiration about what you can actually do and what you can achieve just on a really small budget, a tiny kitchen at home um, and a really great idea. So good luck, everyone. Happy making. If you have any questions, of course, um, just pop me an email or um, which, you know, if you go to my website, nelsonsovery.com, you'll be able to see my emails and everything on that. Or of course, down in the description slash comment box, um, just comment down there. And of course, I will get back to you. Anyway, have an amazing day, everyone, and stay safe in these very uncertain times.